The Return, a national and global day of prayer and repentance in Washington, D.C., brought together dozens of Christian leaders to repent for the sins of America. CBN's Chris Mitchell joined in leading prayer, repenting for the sin of anti-Semitism against the Jewish people. Take a look. This is Chris Mitchell. Our Father in heaven, you forged a bond between America, Israel, and the Bible. It's an ancient marker in our history. 400 years ago in 1620, the pilgrims came over inspired by the Bible in a new exodus and considered themselves a modern chosen people. A litany of towns, villages, and cities from coast to coast have taken biblical names like Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and Shiloh. In 1948, America first recognized the newly born Jewish state. In 2017, the U.S. recognized Jerusalem as its capital, and in 2018, moved our embassy to Jerusalem. But 2,500 years ago, your servant, the prophet Daniel, cried out in repentant prayer on behalf of your people. He prayed, O oh Lord, great and awesome God, we have sinned and committed iniquity. Given his godly example, we stand in the gap today and repent for the sins of hatred of the Jewish people, hatred of Israel that you call the apple of your eye, and anti-Semitism, this ancient, unnatural hatred that has infected parts of our nation. Innocent Jewish blood cries out to heaven from synagogues in Pittsburgh and near San Diego. Anti-Semitic rhetoric has risen from our halls of power. High-profile members of society, as well as those lesser known, have added to this poisonous speech. And fueled by social media, anti-Semitism has been injected into our society and culture. And yet too few know about the Holocaust, and too many deny it. Just like in the Middle Ages during the Black Plague, the Jews have been blamed for our modern-day plague, the coronavirus pandemic. On national TV, Jews have been called the devil. Full-throated cries of death to Israel have risen not in Tehran, but in New York City. And even here in our nation's capital, demonstrators have accused Israel of murdering children. Father, we look to you to forgive us these national sins to hear from heaven and heal our land. We appeal to your throne of mercy in our time of need. Let America stand in the promise of Genesis 12 that declares that you will bless those who bless Israel. And Father, forgive us from any and all attempts to divide your covenant land to the Jewish people and protect us and spare us, Father, from any and all consequences of any and all attempts to divide your land. Father, on this Shabbat of repentance, during the 10 days of awe, and as Daniel prayed, we pray. Now, therefore, our God, hear the prayers of your servants and our supplications. And for your sake, cause your face to shine on our land. We do not present our supplications before you because of our righteous deeds, but because of your great mercies. O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, listen and act. Do not delay for your own sake, our God. In Jesus' name. Alpha, Omega.